In this video, let's learn about the anatomical snuff box. The anatomical snuff box is an elongated triangular space or the depression that is seen on the lateral side of the dorsum of the hand when the thumb is hyperextended. So this is the lateral side when the hand is turned dorsum and this is the medial side. And same applies to this diagram, the lateral side and the medial side. So what is an anatomical snuff box? So it is an elongated triangular depression that is seen on the lateral side of the dorsum of the hand when the thumb is hyperextended. So this is the hyperextension of the thumb when the thumb more towards the lateral side. And you can see the anatomical snuff box here. Now let's talk about the boundaries of the anatomical snuff box. So the anterior lateral boundary is formed by the two tendons. So these two are the tendons that form the anterior lateral boundary. So anterior laterally, the boundaries, it is the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus. And the another tendon is the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis. You can remember these two tendons as the name indicates the abduction of the pollicis longus. What is meant by the pollicis? Pollicis means the thumb and this tendon helps in the abduction of the thumb. And the another tendon is the extensor pollicis brevis. You can remember this tendon as the anatomical snuff box is only visible when the thumb is hyperextended. So that is why the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis comes into action. So these are the anterior lateral relations and the posterior medial relations as here will be the anatomical snuff box. The anterior relation and the lateral relation are finished. And we will talk about the posterior and the medial relations. So posterior medially, the boundary of this anatomical snuff box is by the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus. Here the brevis is finished. So you should remember the longus comes into action. And the floor of this anatomical snuff box is formed by the scaphoid and the trapezium. What are the scaphoid and trapezium? These are the carpal bones and the roof of the anatomical snuff box is formed by the skin and the superficial fascia. So these are the boundaries. And now coming to its contents, the main content is the radial artery. So this is the radial artery. Now let's talk about the structures crossing the roof deep to the skin. So to know about these structures, let's come to the another diagram. So in this diagram, this artery is the radial artery. This is the extensor pollicis longus tendon that forms the posterior medial boundary. This is the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus. This is the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis. And these two tendons form the anterior lateral boundary. So the structures crossing the roof that is deep to the skin are the cephalic vein. So this blue color is the cephalic vein. For a video on the cephalic, basilic and the median cubital vein, you can click on the I button. So the cephalic vein is a structure that crosses the roof deep to the skin. In the terminal branches of the radial nerve, that is from lateral side to the medial side. So these are the cutaneous branches of superficial radial nerve or the terminal branches. So these cutaneous branches or the terminal branch of the radial nerve is from the superficial branch of the radial nerve. So this branch is the superficial branch of the radial nerve. And onto the roof of the anatomical snuff box, it gives the cutaneous or the terminal branches of the superficial radial nerve. And now coming to the clinical significance of the anatomical snuff box, the pulsations of the radial artery can be felt in the anatomical snuff box. The tenderness in the anatomical snuff box indicates the fracture of the scaphoid bone that forms the floor of this anatomical snuff box. So when the fracture of the scaphoid bone 
there will be a tenderness in the anatomical snuff box. And the cephalic vein that is present in this anatomical snuff box position is mainly used to give the intravenous fluids. The superficial branches of the radial nerve can be rolled over the tendon of the extensor pollicis longus. That means this tendon. And remember, the anatomical snuff box is also called as the radial fossa. This is the main point to be written. In the name that is the anatomical snuff box originates by the use of this surface for placing the tobacco in this triangular fossa or the depression and sniffing the powder or the snuff. So the name anatomical snuff box originated by the use of this triangular depression on a dorsum of the hand for placing and sniffing the powder of the tobacco. That is why the name snuff. So guys, this is all about the anatomical snuff box. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. So the revision of the anatomical snuff box. The anatomical snuff box is also called as the radial fossa. It is an elongated triangular depression that is seen on the lateral side of the dorsum of the hand when the thumb is hyperextended. The name anatomical snuff box originated by the use of the tobacco or due to the placing of the tobacco powder and snuffing or sniffing of it. Coming to the boundaries, the anterior lateral boundary that means the anterior and the lateral boundary is formed by the tendon of the abductor pollicis longus and by the tendon of the extensor pollicis brevis. So these are the two tendons. And the posterior medial boundary is formed by the extensor pollicis longus tendon and the floor is formed by the scaphoid and the trapezium bones of the carpal bones and the roof is formed by the skin and the superficial fascia. Now let's learn about the contents those are present below to the skin. So these are the cutaneous branches or the terminal branches of the superficial radial nerve and the cephalic vein and the radial artery. The radial artery is the main content of the anatomical snuff box. And this is the extensor retinaculum. And coming to the clinical aspects, the pulsations of the radial artery can be felt in the anatomical snuff box. And the tender anatomical snuff box, meaning there is a fracture of the scaphoid bone. And the IV fluids are mainly given into the cephalic vein, which is present in the anatomical snuff box. So guys, by this we finish the revision of the anatomical snuff box. And do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.